Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, my name is Nima, Nima Tang. So today I'm going to be reviewing the new Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows. It's gonna be the last video of this year, the last video of this decade, <laughs> which sounds so intense, but it's really not that deep. A lot of you guys were requesting this product. I actually was excited about it, and I haven't been excited about eyeshadow products that much, so this is a good one. I'm glad that I was excited about it. I think I specifically got requests for either number three or number four, because there's eight of them. I think I specifically got requests for these two. I do have the rest of them here, so I'll probably play with the rest of them, but I am gonna focus on number three and four because I think that was the one I got them. That, those two were the ones that I got the most requests for. So if you guys wanna see what look I'm gonna be creating today with these eyeshadows, make sure you keep on watching. Do you guys like my hair? I really like it. It's kind of shorter, a lot shorter than I usually go, but I like it, it's cute, cute. So let's go ahead and jump into that lens that everybody likes, the one that shows all of my pores, every make and model of them. Alrighty, folks, look how close we are. Like, I'm telling you, every single make and model of these pores are showing. But it's okay, it gives you guys a really good true representation of what the eyeshadow looks like. I have calibrated the hell out of my lights. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, I'm gonna be focusing on this one. This is number four. Oh, look how close, oh my God, this is so pretty. This is so pleasing. So pleasing, okay. Look at my nails. Wait, can you guys focus? Focus, there we go. Look how cute my nails are, they kind of match the palette. But they're cute, cute. And then number, this was number four, I can't count. This is number four, and then this is number three. So we're gonna be focusing on these two babies today. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime with the ABH Eye Primer. I already have a little bit of concealer on my lid right there, so I'm just blending this in and they should mix pretty well. This is the Fenty Beauty uh, concealer brush, the 180 concealer brush. Also, I get a lot of, why don't you use a lighter base with your eyeshadows? You could go a lot lighter. I'm just like, guys, that should be an option, not a necessity, okay? Okay? That's an option. You shouldn't have to lighten your eyeshadow base like 900 shades lighter to get eyeshadows to work for you and that's kind of just like where I'm at with all that so if I want to do it I'll do it if I don't and an eyeshadow product the eyeshadow palette just doesn't work that ain't my problem that is that company's problem so I'm gonna use this shade right here like I said this is the shade Afogado in the one palette I'm gonna try and see if what that will look like as a transition shade. Oh, it's a little bit darker than I thought it was gonna be. Well, it blends out darker than I thought it was gonna blend out. I'm not mad at that. Let's go in and warm it up. This is the number three palette. I'm gonna go into the orange shade right here, which is called Fia Freak. Fire Freak, Fire Freak. Use that to blend out that brown shade. Calm down, calm down. Well, pigmentation's there, so <laughs> that's good. Deepen the crease a little bit. I think this is the darkest one of all of these besides going black, which is this shade right here, and that is No Fudge Given. And it looks a little deeper. Um, in person than on camera. So I'm gonna take that into the crease. I'm gonna mix in the shade, this shade right here, which is called Shots Fired. I'm gonna mix those two together actually, because I feel like it's getting a little, really, it's getting a little too neutral for me, and I kinda need a little bit more warmth. There we go. I like the warmth. When things are too neutral on me, they kind of go gray. Can you guys see the difference already? Like how much warmer that looks than how it looked earlier? 
So I have to be careful about not going too neutral. This is an actual pressed glitter right here, so that's nice. Six has a pressed glitter too. This one right here, which is so pretty. Let's do some action with this pink right here. In the number four palette, it's Lil Miss. Let's see what Lil Miss looks like right here. Ooh, I like that a lot better with that orange right there too. Oh, that's pretty. Let's go back into the orange. This is a really pretty like brick orange shade and it doesn't really come off as well as I want it to on camera, but it is a very pretty brick shade. I'm just using that to buff out the outer edge of that pink. Those look good together. Yes. So far, fallout's been at a minimum. Like, I don't really see much fallout whatsoever. Going back into Shots Fired, I want to bring back some more of that. Not, that's not what I wanted to do. Go back. Reverse. I'm going into Lil Miss. So I saw this technique actually, where you just kind of make sure everything's nice and blended with some translucent powder. And you just use some translucent powder and just make sure the edges are nice and soft and everything looks seamless. This is the shade Sugar Shock. Heaven Scent, like scent is in dollar sign scent. Ooh, heaven sent. It's like an orange and it's got like pinky purple in there. Pinky purple reflex. That's pretty. Ooh, what if we did both? Let's do both. Some powder. Because it's always the shimmers that got the fallout. Let's make sure we don't have any fallout. I always get it on my nose too, so I put powder on my nose as well. So we're doing the shade Sugar Shock on the back right here. Ooh, that's pretty. It's not applying bad at all with the brush. I'm gonna take it all um, halfway to the center of the lid. Ooh, that's really pretty. And I'm just gonna flip it over, flip the brush over on the other side and take the shade Heaven Scent of the eye right here. All right, I'm gonna try my finger next. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, right there. Uh -huh. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna take a brush, this brush right here, and I'm gonna take a little bit of the Heaven Scent shade. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start buffing Heaven Scent higher and higher. Might take a little bit because it's not really applying the way I need it to with my brush. But I like this right here. So recently I picked up this brown eyeliner from Lancome and usually I don't use brown eyeliner because none of the eyeliners that I have come across that are brown ever show up on my skin. But this one looks promising so we're gonna give her a try. It didn't do it what I kind of needed it to do, but it's okay. I'm gonna take the purple shade from the number three palette, Shots Fired, and I'm just gonna stamp that. Fire Freak, and I'm gonna put that right on the outside, just to blend everything out. And For my waterline, I wanna use this purple shade right here. All right, so this is what our eyes look like backed up. I just put on a little bit of mascara. This is the Pat McGrath Fetishized Mascara. There is literally nothing on the market compared to this mascara. Sorry, not sorry. It's just so good. 
Ooh, I like the eyes. Okay, so now we're going into, I'm gonna put this powder right here. This is from the Milani Most Loved Mats. I'm gonna use that to just highlight my brow bone. While I'm waiting for my lash glue to dry, let's go ahead and do blush. So I've been stuck on this color drain brush palette. This is in the shade Damage Control. And it's got a highlighter and a blush. And I really love this pinky blush. It's nice and pigmented. If you guys like my new background, I feel like the white background just wasn't, something about it always just felt very like, wasn't working for me. And now that I've kind of switched to like a deeper, warmer, kind of like richer background, I just feel like I pop a lot more and like my colors pop a lot more. So let me know what you guys think. I like it, but I also like how fresh and clean white makes you feel. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure. She's a work in progress though. She's not, she's not completed yet. I think I'm gonna get rid of the painting. I'm not sure. Now we're gonna highlight. I'm gonna use the Lancome um, Le Monochromatique in the shade A La Mode. Let's go ahead and use this shade right here. It's Money, what is it called? Money Mission, and it's a gold shade, I'm gonna put that on the inner corner. This is an Urban Decay pencil in the shade Demolition. Let's go in with Color Drain X Power Implicated Lipstick. It's matte. And then I'm gonna top it off with this Milani Keep It Full Bare Pink Lip Gloss. Oh. That did it. So I'm gonna go and change now. Alrighty guys, so that is pretty much it for our video today. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I know you guys use me as a reference to see how products are gonna perform, how they're gonna look, especially for all of you guys that have dark skin just like me. You guys wanna see if there's gonna be pigmentation, is there gonna be a lack of pigmentation? So I'm happy that you guys were excited about this product as well because I was excited. I was planning on doing a review when I saw them, but when you guys started asking, I was like, okay, perfect, so. Here we are. For the price of the palettes, I don't think it's a bad price. For $25, I do think that if you're looking for just another palette, you're probably not gonna think it's worth it. But if you're looking for a palette that pretty much gives you everything in one, like it gives you your crease shade, these two palettes are the ones that I focus on the most because I said these are the ones that are gonna be most flattering for my skin tone. And as you can tell, they look Good. If I was to do the same look every single day for work over and over and over again, these are good investments. I think for $25, you get your everyday eyeshadow palette and you don't have to think about it. There's no thought process involved. You just know what you're doing. You just throw it on and it looks good. So that is pretty much it for our last video of the decade, you guys, the decade. <laughs> I feel like I'm so like, <laughs> a part of me is tired of hearing it. A part of me is tired of hearing the decade, the end of the decade. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> but then a part of me is like also like, yeah, it is the end of a decade, so what do you expect? So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed already, subscribe right here. Turn on your notification. You'll get notified for every single video next year. So thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love, and I will see you guys next year. I look cute. That's it. That's it. I look cute.